Jesse was talking about uh, the potential for some freezing. There's still a chance for some freezing drizzle, freeze, light freezing rain, even some sleet. But the majority of the slipperiness that you're going to encounter is because of these falling temperatures and the wet pavement, especially parking lots, driveways and sidewalks. So be cautious of that. Because of that, there's a winter weather advisory inland areas until 8 o'clock this evening. That's when the precip should come to an end and we should have that threat uh, of freezing pretty much coming to an end uh, on the roadways. At least you can see most of the action has been to the north of us where they picked up four to eight inches of snow and the cold front is pushing through. It's basically been rain as we thought it would be here in Milwaukee and most of southeastern Wisconsin. A little wintry mix now in parts of Dodge, Fond du Lac and northwestern Sheboygan County. The wind and the temperature drop is the big thing. It still feels like 50 in Milwaukee, 16 in Madison, below zero in western Wisconsin and way below zero into Minnesota. And this cold air is surging all the way down into Texas, and we're just starting to get a taste of it. Chicago today, almost 60 degrees as well. They're not quite to the cold front yet either. Port Washington has seen the cold front. They're at 36, 29 in Watertown, 26 in Green Lake, and now down to 19 in the Dells. Then you have the wind out of the northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. It's dropping wind chill to five in the Dells. Still feels like 50 in Milwaukee. So a two hour drive. That's a 45 degree difference. Whew. Man, so the precip gets out of here pretty quickly this evening. Watch out for some of that icing, though, on some of those side streets, county roads and parking lots tomorrow. Plenty of sun could see a little bit of lake effect snow along the shores from south side of Milwaukee down towards Kenosha, but then the wind shifts quickly and pushes that lake effect snow band off to the east tomorrow morning. We won't be in the 40s and 50s. We will be 16 degrees with a wind chill close to zero and we'll stay in the teens to lower 20s tomorrow with a gusty wind and it's cold this weekend for a high on Saturday 15 17 on Sunday temperatures near zero in the morning and could see a little bit of light snow Sunday night into Monday and we stay near 20 all of next week. Be careful out there tonight. It's going to get cold quick.